So if you are a young artist starting out and having big ambitions to break into the video games or movie industry, you might be asking yourself whether it's better to be a specialist or a generalist. Before I went to art school, my focus was on character designs. I was really passionate about it and in fact that's all I wanted to do. I wanted to become a character concept artist. But in my art school there wasn't a program that allowed me to only do some character designs. So I picked up a bachelor in illustration program and there I was forced to expand my skills to be able to draw complex scenes that would tell a story. So that meant learning to draw vehicles, environments, animals and simple objects. It was really challenging but I enjoyed it a lot. Then when I landed an internship in a video game company where I'm working right now, I found myself working on a small team where I was one of only two concept artists. And this meant that I had to be able to solve a wide range of different visual problems for different subjects. It was a great learning experience but I found that I lost my focus. If you are aiming to work for a small video game or movie company, then being a generalist might be the best path for you. However, I think it's going to take much more time to be able to draw a little bit of everything and to be decent at that rather than focusing on one subject and becoming an expert on it. Being a generalist can give you a broader range of skills and knowledge, which can be useful in a variety of contexts, and it can also make you adaptable to changing demands in the industry. However, I really think that if you are only a generalist, you will only have surface level knowledge on the subjects that you need to tackle, and your portfolio may become too broad, so companies may not know what to hire you for, and especially if you experiment with different styles. I had a client tell me that he compared me to one of my friend's portfolio, and he hired me because it was more clear what I was able to do rather than the other guy that experimented with different styles and way too many subjects and so it wasn't clear what this guy was able to do and what his expertise was. For me it was more clear that I was able to do illustrations and character design and so that's why this client hired me. So I would advise you to keep your experimentations on different styles and too many different subjects. Keep that for your social media, for Instagram for example, but don't put it in your portfolio. Keep your portfolio really focused and if you really need to, create different portfolios for the different companies that you want to work for. My advice in the beginning would be to actually specialize in a specific area of concept art, such as starter design for example. And this way companies will know you for that skill set specifically. And then on your free time and on the side experiment and get better on different aspects of concept art. Instead of trying to be a jack of all trades and master of none, try to be a jack of all trades but master of one. So you have one specific skill set that you are known for and then on the side you can expand your skill sets while experimenting on different subjects. Because what being a specialist gives you is that you can become an expert in that field and you can really become known for that. That's going to allow you to produce high quality work very quickly and efficiently. And this can make you more valuable to employers looking for artists with specific skill sets. And it's also going to make you less replaceable because you have deeper knowledge on, for example, character design than a generalist that's going to be able to make a little bit of everything. And if you look at some of the most popular artists on social media, they are more generally known for a specific kind of work. For example, take Ross Rose, that's known for his portrait of girls. Or Marco Jodjevic, that's the owner of Six More Vodka, that's known for his awesome character designs. Or you can take Romain Jouando, who is most known for his moody and real key frames for The Last of Us and Ghost of Tsushima. I have to be honest here, I admire those artists that are able to do one type of images that are still creative and create novelty every time. Me, I feel like I get bored very quickly and I'm sure that a lot of other artists have, have that too. We have this addiction to novelty and new things. So we constantly want to reinvent ourselves. And there are honestly too many things that I want to create because I like this challenge of creating something completely new that I've never worked on before. I like sometimes focusing on environments or sometimes focusing on creature designs. And this brings novelty to my daily routine. Because one risk that I think being a specialist brings you is that you may become stagnant and you may be a bit close-minded then to create other things. By the way, lately I've been focusing much more on character design and so I created a tutorial to make character design easier for you which is now available on my Gumroad store.
Before discovering a good process for creating a character from scratch, I was filled with doubt and felt lost. In this tutorial, I will guide you through the entire process that I have refined over the years for creating a fully hand-painted character design without relying on AI or photobashing. We will cover topics such as coming up with an idea, understanding the visual language of a culture, the design fundamentals, and rendering gold among others. If you want to learn a reliable process for creating your own amazing character concept art, my course is now available on Grimroad, so go check it out. As with any career decision, being a specialist or a generalist is up to you. It's going to depend on your personal goals, interests, and career aspiration. Here I just wanted to give you a few pros and cons of being a specialist or a generalist. To me, the sweet spot is being a jack of all trade, master of one. And it's important to consider your strengths and weaknesses, as well as the demands of the industry and making these decisions. In the end, what matters most is that you enjoy what you are doing and that you are constantly trying to improve your craft. So I hope this video was helpful for you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.